This could be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose But when you talk to me Get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. Hello, hello, hello. What is going on, my babies? I have literally haven't been doing a video since our 30-day vlogging challenge. So today, I am going to cut this fan off behind me. And we're going to get some, some content recorded for the day for us. You feel me? Yes, I'm going to put y'all in here real quick. Yes, yes. Get in here, get in here. Come here, Luna. Yeah, come. Say hello to everybody. Luna is our newest baby in the gang. Feel me? Feel me? Her little outfit saying you're rescued. Well, you rescued my heart. Nonetheless, because I don't have a good angle, so let me get back here after I show my drip check, drip check, get your bitch wet. Ew. Lola, say hello as well. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello, 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 hello. Let me get in here. Let me get in here. Let me get in here. Let me bring y'all up here so y'all can talk to me more so hi what's new what's going on with who with you so i just wanted to do a real quick update and let y'all know like i said i haven't been vlogging since the 30 day vlogging challenge and i have literally been doing a lot of things to bring back joy into my life and fill my cup up with joy so today is my first day back in the office Back working, back in the studio, back on my grind, doing what I came here to do, to do what? To help who? You. So, check out my ears. We in here. Yes. My elf ears, finally, finally, I found some that is in my complexion. I don't got to paint them and all the other stuff. I've been looking for these ears for almost, I would say, let me back up so I don't got to keep getting them. A year, maybe? Yeah, like a year. I would say a year. Nonetheless. I don't know why the hell the side of that window looks so crazy. The whole room looked crazy. Like, give me a second. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this is a lot, lot better for me. I did clean off the other side, but the light is over here hidden. So, I'm just going to stay here and do our videos. Nonetheless, like I was saying, y'all, a lot of things has been going on. I'm super pumped up to talk to y'all about it. The most activity that has been happening was, like I said, the 30-day vlogging challenge. After the 30-day vlogging challenge, I decided that I was going to take literally 30 days to myself. Because if you are not familiar why I started the 30-day vlogging challenge, it was literally to be able to go back, have some accountability for the things that I was literally doing during my self-love journey. And actually teaching you guys how to handle red flags and how to deal with heartbreak, how to control your impulses. And literally build up your self-confidence back into being the woman that you want to become. So you can walk with the energy you want to walk in. And baby, I'm not doing nothing this year but selling Sunset. All in 2024, I am selling Sunset, okay? Like, 32 look good on me. I'm pumped up about that. I haven't shared none of my birthday vlogs. I haven't shared none of the activities of me going and traveling. I haven't shared any of the activities as far as what I have been doing during my 30 days of giving self-love back to myself and giving me some rejuvenating time for my mental, my heart, and my body. All of us are on one accord. We are getting aligned. I also am excited to share with y'all the fact that I have started a new project, which is called The ABCs of Having Self Boundaries. I am literally writing a new book and I'm pumped up about it. I'm more than likely going to have it as an ebook as well, so we can have digital copies going out. But I need that physical, physical, physical copy, you know? Like, I need to be able to. I need to be able to fill these pages, look at it, level up, and do some work. Like, I need to be able to actually have y'all on this project with me, on this rule with me, with this self-love journey, so you guys can actually know what's going on. Do not panic, I have on shorts. So you guys can know what's going on, and actually how to stay on track when it comes to my fault, y'all. Somebody gave me a call and literally took the whole video off. But with that being said, like I said, the whole project that I'm doing right now, the book, is literally ways on let me get the title for y'all because i don't want to quote myself wrong because i was just writing 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 and winging out my notes so let me get that okay so here's a little notebook i've been using it's like super got all my thoughts in and all of the exclusive stuff but this is literally like i said y'all behind the scenes of me doing my vlog some updates and all that good stuff like i said the name of the project that i'm doing is called the abcs of having boundaries it's a guide on different forms of boundaries to help you establish rules for your life regulate your emotions and control your impulses bam <laughs> bam i'm excited for 
before that, it popped up to give that to y'all. Like, I'm working on it. It's literally alphabets that are based off of boundaries. And there may be forms of boundaries that you guys didn't exactly know because we are only literally involved with the seven boundaries that we normally hear, like physical boundaries, spiritual boundaries, sexual boundaries, mental boundaries, and there's literally three other ones that we are like known for hearing more often than not. But what about boundaries when it comes to your health or boundaries when it comes to your career or boundaries when it comes to literally accepting the attitudes of other people like your peers your spouse your co-workers like what are your boundaries we're going to dig deep do some shadow work and find out like what exactly hindering you and stopping you from exactly living the life that you were desiring to manifest so i'm pumped up and excited to give that to y'all as a new project it's literally been motivating me for literally the last 30 days so i have been pouring myself into that during my journey as well as bringing myself i said bitten myself putting myself back into the mindset of actually wanting to work wanting to help wanting to create and being there mentally and emotionally for everyone what i've learned during this journey is i cannot continue to fill up the cup of other people if my cup is literally pouring out nothing so if i am empty what am i giving and I'm learning to continue to fill my cup up with joy. So when other people who are lacking that within themselves come into my little bubble and receive my energy, they're not just in it and taking. They're also in it and giving as well. So they're receiving and giving and not just coming in and leaving me empty. Okay? Take note. That's all we can do this year. That's all you can take from me this year is notes. Get your red pen and your notebook. So, I'm super pumped up and excited to drop this project for y'all. Super pumped up and excited to let y'all know what's going on because, like I said, today is my first day back in the studio. I am rejuvenated. I took some time to myself. I ain't been recording. I ain't been posting. Like, it's literally what they tell you. If your body needs rest, give it rest. If your body is telling you it's thirsty, give it something to drink, baby. If you feel like dancing, go out there and move your body. Motion is what you need. Take out the E so you can get some motion. You feel me? And that is the literally the journey that I'm on and the advice I want to give y'all as your self-care tip for today. These are things we tend to take for granted. And literally every day waking up, planting our feet and sweating ourselves with ten toes down and the word of the street poet is something that we need to wake up doing. And I'm literally here to help and continue to manifest like the video I had posted on my IG today on my Fun Size Photography Budar page. Literally, I'm here to help over 10,000 women and non-binary genders learn how to control their emotions, impulsive thoughts, and learn how to build up their self-confidence without feeling guilty for it in the long run. And not just finding it temporarily, but permanently. You understand? Because it's okay to, what well, we've, in this society, we've learned that it's okay to have moments where we need to start over. And then we've also learned in this society that you shouldn't have to start over so many times during the self-love journey. I'm here to tell you that it's false information. You better take that table down and rebuild it up as many times as you want to when you don't feel appreciated. And it's not being reciprocated in the same feelings and emotions and work that you were doing. You understand? You understand. So, with that being said, guys, I'm literally not going to talk your ears off. I'm going to stop the video right here because I think I feel like I said everything to y'all. Y'all are taking away everything that you need. And hopefully, like I said, you guys are taking notes and living your best life. If you are new to my page, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for taking the time out to even view this video. If this is a recurrent or returning subscriber, I want to say, gang, gang, what up, baby? <laughs> what up, baby? Like, I appreciate you sticking around for my journey. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and subscribing to my channel and actually being tuned in, engaged, and motivated enough to actually be out here supporting and sharing my work as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. And I cannot stress that anymore. But you guys know how I'm about to end this video. Be you, do you, be true. But more importantly, remember, learn to love yourself before trying to love someone else. Get out of here and go be fantastic, baby. Brrrr.